Hi everyone, my name is Arjot and welcome to Fogs of Gadgets. This is our first video on the S21 Ultra cases. We have already made an intro video in which we have shown the 20 covers that we will review. If you have not looked at that, just have a look at it. As we have reviewed these covers, things that we have touched based upon are quality, build, material, protection to the camera, screen, cutouts, overall looks. So you can take a glimpse of everything, not only that weight, plus whether the wireless charging works or not. So we've tried to touch base on almost everything. So you can have a look and relate as in see what exactly is you're looking for in your cover of your choice. We will publish one video per week. And since you have bought 20 covers, we thought let's do a giveaway. We will give three covers and this is something you will choose. We'll do a poll on Twitter and on the poll you can select which are the top three covers. In fact, if the number of views of the video go beyond 5,000, we will give away two more covers. Now the result will be shared after the fourth video, which is the fifth week. I know you might find it a little long, but as you know, due to COVID, deliveries of products is not happening. And also since we are a low sub channel, it will give channels some time to get more subs. I'll be very honest. In order to be a winner, you have to leave a comment in the YouTube video. Also, you have to follow us on YouTube, Insta and Twitter. As we run a poll on the Twitter, you also have to vote for the best cover. We'll use the comment picker to find the winner and we'll give away the covers. In case there are different covers, we'll just randomly pick. So I think you'll understand where I'm coming from. May not necessary that one cover will win out of all 20. So there would be different covers. So which one you get is up to your luck. Now we also thought that in the comment you can leave the name of the cover. But what if that cover doesn't win? So hence, we'll simply pick up the winner from the Twitter as in the cover that we'll be giving away. So guys, on that note, let's start. And if you do find our efforts worthy enough, please do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and share the video with your friends and family. Like and comment too. Also, let me know if there's different uh, in anything different you want me to try out or maybe something I missed with respect to all the aspects that we touch base while reviewing the covers. The build is great. The back is made of acrylic which is really sturdy and of good quality it doesn't feel cheap at all the sides are made of silicone they are soft and spongy will definitely give good protection to the bezel the gauge of these sides is quite thick so I'm really happy from the overall protection that you get on the sides now as I bend there is no noise or creaks On the inside, you get vertical walls to save the corner from dents upon a drop. These are across all corners. The buttons have grooves and you can also put in a phone yard via the two holes provided, though it will be a heavy deal. It was easy to put on the cover. No hustle required. Starting with the camera protection, it could have been better. For some, this might work, but for me, it was okay to good. The corners are almost adjacent to the camera hosing protection, so I do not expect much of wobble while the phone rests on the desk. The cutouts are perfectly placed, including the one for the top speaker. There was no problem faced while using the buttons, be it the volume or the power on off button. Screen protection at the bottom and top is great. You can see there is definitely margin. The cover protrudes very well. However, do keep in mind that in the middle it could have been better. The cover does protrudes but not significantly. Having said that, I think it could have been a little better. 
Now do keep in mind that the phone would be resting on the bumpers. So all in all, it's good. However, slight more in the middle would have been better from protection perspective. Here is how the phone will look from the back. Now I've got my phone laminated. Hence, it's looking like this, else the matte finish would highlight nicely. Now, there was no problem that I faced while charging the phone wirelessly. Here you go. Let's check out the weight of the cover with the phone and the cover only. I bought this cover locally and for INR 250, this is sheer value for money. Online, this might be a little more expensive and it will last really long. Now, you can decide with the protection perspective if this is the one you want to go for or not and looks too. This is another transparent cover we have. It looks and feel cheap. Similar to what we have seen before, this has black bezel. Now since the quality is cheap, it's lighter as well. You get pre-applied protection sheet. As a bend, no creaks are heard finally something good the material of the bezel is decent and in matte finish some may like this touch some may not overall i am not so happy so far you get pre-applied plastic sticker on the acrylic sheet inside and out protection from the inside is below average the pockets are really small and so are the vertical stacks this is way below the standard we saw on the first cover. Putting the cover on was easy. No hustle required. Here is how the overall look from the back will be. Camera protection is good. It's even covering some part of the camera. Just have a look at the circles at the bottom and on the right hand side. This would not impact the camera quality however. Now the hosing is not adjacent to the overall sides so I was expecting this bit of wobble but this is quite a lot. All the cutouts are perfect be it bottom, top or for the speaker and the buttons were properly operational. No problems with that. Screen protection is okay specifically on the top, at the bottom and around the corners however on the sides it is next to none. The screen itself is protruding beyond the cover. With the phone upside down, there are high chances that the screen might touch the floor as well. We did not face any issue while charging the phone wirelessly. Now let's check the weight of the phone and we found it to be 251 grams with the phone as the cover itself weighs around 25 grams. So it was good that the weigh is less but then it compromised on quality too. So friends, my priority has always been screen and camera protection. So I'll not be recommending this but if you like this cover, feel free to buy. And I really like those Batman ears corners. I mean, they look like as if they are from Batman, right? Just kidding. Let's move to the next one. This is another local cover that I bought and I found it looking very nice. That's why also from the options perspective, I thought let's cover it. The packaging is really nice. You have this cover available in black and brown. I haven't seen this available online and not sure you would be able to get it in your area or not. I really like this brown color and this is not leather, but the material used is premium. The texture is nice and the logo at the bottom is a nice touch too. You got to be careful as the logo can come off. Now the build is great. Obviously there would not be any creak sound or anything you'll hear but then overall it was really nice. Things change as we move inside. The gauge is not thick and there is no inside pocket we have for bezel protection. Now. I wish there could have been some rubber coating here because if your phone drops, the direct impact would be on the back glass. There's nothing to soak the impact. So if you buy a cover, always keep this aspect in mind, specifically when you have a glass back. Fitting is great. You do not have to struggle to put this on. 
this is how it will look from the back side. This is neck to neck and camera protection is next to none. Screen protection is below average be it the bottom or the sides. Once again the sides are not covered, they are protruding beyond the cover. The cutouts are perfect and we did not face any problem using the power or the volume button. Charging the phone wirelessly was not a problem. As we conclude, let's check out the weight and also the fact that the cover is nice when it comes to the look and the texture plus the tan color. I really like it or brown you can call but practically it would not gonna be safe. If you buy this cover, make sure you're using the phone uh, not too extensively because see you'll agree to the fact that you end up dropping the phone some or the other day so there would be a high chance that your phone will definitely get you know some impact maybe on the screen or camera for sure because there was literally no protection for the camera so i leave it up to you i personally will not keep this but then i'll be using this cover maybe very very occasionally of course with my fingers crossed Moving to some premium offerings, at least from price point of view. This is the cover by ESR. This has a matte finish and the silver strip, which is a stand, looks awesome. The quality is really good and the silicone material is soft enough to be gentle on the phone. There is a shimmer effect to the back, which is not too prominent, but some light thrown. It looks really classy to look at. With some light thrown, of course. The stand will definitely gonna come handy and will be very helpful in media consumption. The overall mechanism is of great quality, be it the stand itself or where it settles down. So I think it will easily last a year or so if used properly. From the inside, the vertical walls are not there. There is horizontal cushioning but that too not prominent to soak up the drop pressure. Now. In order to soak the drop pressure, this would entirely be on the case thickness, which is decent. I'm sure it will be able to bear those drops unless you make your phone your weapon of choice. The fitting is great too. Putting the cover on was not a big deal. The buttons work properly, be it the power or the volume button. Camera protection is okay. You might feel that it's too deep. But then don't get deceived for the fact that the wall on the right hand side is slanted. That gives a feel that it's too deep. It is not. But then it's not that bad either. The cutouts are perfect across. The biggest dissatisfaction moment was the screen protection across all sides. The top and the bottom were below average and on the sides, since it's a curved screen, I think these expensive cover are designed in a way but then you have to be a little careful because on the sides there's not much of protection this is how the phone looks overall and the stand is easily able to manage all that weight without any issues charging the phone vertically was a problem the wireless charger did not identify the phone however horizontally it worked instantly so i think uh, if this is one factor you want to keep in mind still you are able to charge the phone from one side so i think we'll give it a thumbs up but then this is something the company should take a note of let's check out the weight of the phone with the cover and of the cover only and conclude now this cover looks great feels great it has a stand as well and for media consumption it will be a great option however do keep in mind if you're fine with the protection that it provides specifically to the screen and also as we move up the ladder most of the covers will be like this there will be less of the screen protection because they'll keep into account that the phone has edge display yes so do keep in mind Hence, from our side, I'll give it a thumbs up and use it with cautious. This is our last cover, which is from Kissology, which is basically part of Spigen only. And this cover is the 
Kisology Vault. I can already feel some heft to it. It feels premium in hand. There's a bit of texture and you get the Kisology icon at the bottom. On the top, you have diagonal streaks that looks nice. Inside, they have tried to made it creepy, providing that pattern. And as I bend it, nothing gonna happen to it. This is top notch quality. Inside, there are small pockets and even small Adi arcs, and these are not so prominent. Do note the pattern on the side wall. This is to aid the grip, and the overall material thickness is amazing. Just see for yourself. Putting the cover on was fairly easy. It felt the grippiest, and though the insides were not promising, I was thoroughly impressed and felt confident of the protection that the cover will provide on drop to all the sides. I felt as if I've wrapped my phone in a blanket. The camera protection is below average though. Uh, you may find it okay too for your liking, but then it's a little less could have been a bit more. The buttons are plain and we did not face any problem using those buttons. Now the phone do wobble a bit. We also found the cutouts perfect across all sides. Now the area which let me down the most was again the screen protection. I mean it's almost neck to neck on all sides. Though on the corner it do protrudes a little bit but this is really really negligible. I mean I wish the corners could have been raised so that the phone doesn't touch the surface. Charging the phone was not a problem and as we check the weight, let's conclude. I really like the cover for the subtleness that it has, the overall grip that it was providing, the material used. It's the protection that has let me down big time, specifically on the front. Now if I compare it with the ESR, the ESR takes the edge not only in terms of look because it's also on the mat and subtle side has a shimmer to it but it provides a kickstand and the protection of the camera and screen is better as compared to this one. If this could have provided good screen protection I must have recommended it still but as of now I will not I will leave it up to you if you want to buy this or not. Another problem that I want to highlight is that this cover does not leave any room for the pre-applied protection too. It's covering that too. So you can understand aftermarket protection would be difficult to find for this cover as you may want to change the pre-applied one. So please note that. Out of all these five covers, this is my pick despite of you know being low priced, no brand. This is a great cover to buy, which is overall the best, I would say, be it protection, be it the looks, be it transparency, be it quality, I think be it price this cover is surely the winner small small things like grooves on the buttons i mean i wish expensive companies could think of it so this is the number one cover i'll reject these two outright but if you still like the cover with the matte black frame the transparent one you can still go for that out of the esr and kissology esr is the winner Though both the covers suffer screen protection from the sides specifically, but ESR is overall a lot better. It has better camera protection and sides protection, overall protection as compared to Kesology. Plus, you get a kickstand, that matte finish, the design element, the shimmer effect. I'll give it a go out of the two covers that we've just seen the Kesology and the ESR. I wish Kesology could have given us great protection because this is one great cover the material is really of high quality the thickness is the best it's just that the protection it fails miserably